Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken, we're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore, hardest difficulty, one save, and no retries allowed. Today is coming unspooled uh, as our main mission. We are looking uh, to uh, get... Oh, we fight a couple of Neo Chrysalids. I love it. So we're fighting Neo Chrysalids and we uh, mix the team up quite a bit. Uh, we are um, we're giving some of our freshly promoted uh, soldiers to level 5 a chance to also train. And Blue Blood is joining the team for one uh, mission just to give it a new, uh, a bit of a different appeal. I'm still not going with the, uh, with the healer, so we're actually going without one. Uh, given that this is a 2 uh, stage mission, I am considering that we're simply buying another breach item. Let's see, right here. I like the medi patches, they were not bad. So let's go with one of them for now. There we go, coming unspooled. And we'll just give that one to Blue Blood. Okay, and with that, we are directly joining the mission. Blue Blood has gotten his superior scope and a superior expanded magazine, so he should definitely not run out of ammunition. And for his face off ability, yeah, it's going to be fun. A lot of shots. Good, time for the breach mode. Here we go. Success shots will stun. Enemies are harder to hit, 3 mobility and run and gun ability. You know what, the run and gun ability, I think that's a good idea for Axiom. 3 mobility, might be something for Claymore. And Blue Blood has good uh, to hit chance anyway, so lesser chance to hit isn't too much of a problem. Let's see that we can get rid of the chrysalids first. Got a cobra. Got a guardian. Got a necromancer. A turret. A target rich environment here. A hitman. An android. A bomber. Another trooper. Holy shit, that's a lot. Of, these are uh, many good targets. I like the idea to go for the guardian to prevent him from shielding everyone else. I hate that. He is stunned, um, but that really doesn't mean much. Nice little critical hit. Yeah, let's just get the Guardian down. Thank you. Good, and now we can either go for the Cobra or what I prefer, soften up the Necromancer so that we don't have any summoning shenanigans. Okay, so what are we going to do? Looking at the situation, there are still a lot of enemies around. Can we hit all three? Well, we may be able to hit all three, but it will be difficult, so probably not. We could hit those two, and we can hit those two. Let's hit those two. Throwing grenade. Both of them stunned for two rounds, that's perfect. Torque continues with softening up the turret. 
nice little shredding that's good and who's going to be our poor target oh the bomber is a great target I think we're going with a necromancer I really don't want any summonings also it would mean that Torque is not standing in the open she's just killing him and goes back into cover Definitely a pretty strong character, no question. <laughs> yeah. I would love to pull out face off, but I'll save it for the second encounter to not let this one here look just too ridiculously easy. Dead eyeing. difficult with blue blood to not let anything look too ridiculously easy. Okay. I'm going for the Cobra. And we're dropping the hammer. Just because. <laughs> okay, half of the enemies are dead and no one has acted yet. Oh, this is hilarious. Shrapnel, out. Let's bring the trooper a little bit closer. <laughs> it's such a steamroll. It's almost funny. Let's get the bomber. He's down to 1 HP, okay. I gotcha. Well, thanks to the run and gun ability. So ready for this. Thanks to the run and gun ability. We're just moving up. And it might as well be a completely flawless entry. Of course. Ah, it's still fine. Needed the exercise. Keep moving. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's difficult. Not to feel that that is too easy. Incredible amount of damage that we pumped out. Could have been like twice the amount of enemies and... So target analyzer. Going in with... Claymore next and blue blood is healing everyone. There we go, everyone's full again. Hello there. An aggressive android. An aggressive necromancer, okay. A mech. A guardian. And a trooper. You know, let's start with the necromancer. Seven points of damage. That's 
pretty damn good. And he's stunned. There we go. Two targets down. I see the target. Two, three, four, five, six enemies. Okay. Let's get blue blood up here. Softening up the mech. And we can soften up the Guardian. Nope, that didn't work out. Although killing the Guardian would actually be super helpful. One, two, three, four. position ourselves up to here and that would make it one two three four five six targets got enough ammunition for that so I think we're going to do exactly that the only problem that I'm seeing is the Guardian and uh, the Guardian still has given everyone three shields so we can do it next turn not as effective, but with a shield, it's not going to be as as effective either. Everyone would just take uh, like two to three points of damage. Hitting the guardian very nicely. And you know what? Let's kill the Guardian. We can't. Okay. In that specific case, I will just take a second shot. Is that. Reduce shield from everyone. The one thing that they have done successfully is deterred... Um, deterred me away from the chrysalids. Okay, can't reach the other chrysalid, but I'm pretty sure he can reach us. So that's going to be the one time when oh, we're close. seeing what the neo chrysalids poison will actually do. In the past, I was always focusing them first, but this time that did not work out. Overwatching so that the Chrysalid at least takes a shot. Of course, in true Chrysalid fashion, they produce more Chrysalids. Cool, we're immune to the chrysalid poison. That makes this whole exercise way easier. Weapon reloaded. So let me get that straight. Ah, the, cocoon, uh, the cocoon is already there. 
Hell yeah, exactly what we were looking for. Miss the quick hands or the lightning hands. And the follow up shot. Great. Let's see if we can tongue grab him. At least that worked. Good. We need to clear, uh, destroy the assembly, which is right here, to prevent reinforcements from happening. Can we break open the wall is the question. If so, great. If not, not so great. <laughs> So there are reinforcements, uh, the grenade will um, basically go off by itself. Might as well use an overwatch instead to deal with the reinforcements. For us to move closer. Let's see if this here is going to destroy the reinforcements four points of damage so I think that's not enough moving up Hope you took a bath today. tongue pull for claymore And again, Overwatch for the potential reinforcements. Good. Adrenaline surge means our slam will not end our turn. This here is mainly to move and kill at the same time, so to be efficient with our action economy. And I can see we only need to deal four more damage. Going to take some damage now. Or not. S 
So this here is probably the best position. Yeah, I think this here is the best position to hit all of them. Heavily shredded him. We are healing ourselves with torque. Don't want to send it out in the open. It's basically bad enough that Claymore will take a hit here. But you know what? That does need to be the case. Next time, save yourself. Unsettling. Obliterating. Running out of ammunition. Okay, fair enough. So, moving here. And let's give him a sticky grenade. Perfect, that shredded him. Reloading. And time for our rapid fire. I should, probably could have also killed the bruiser, but then again, Claymore would have taken explosion damage. Unfortunately, I needed to reload. That really stinks, uh, which puts me in this, un in this unfortunate situation that I couldn't see him through the wall. So the bomber will get one more turn. Yeah, the, the last bit of the mission was not as clean as I uh, wanted it to be. Could have gone to the target much faster. Overall still fine. Um, I was holding the cooldowns back for kind of the perfect uh, moment. Specifically the face-off. Probably in the first room it would have probably been just way more impressive. Although we dominated the first uh, room quite easy hand, uh, easily. But 6-7 shots right off the bat. That's a good uh, start for a room. 40 credits, 50 intel. An armor mod and the adhesion grenade. The bonded stair radio station claimed without evidence that the fade was manufactured in City 31. The assertion that Next Gen created the disease was convincing to some residents. Everything they say makes sense. With the gene therapy clinic shut down, we're as good as dead. Next Gen issued a firm denial and urged those affected to see a medical professional. Sudden weight loss, thirst, loss of appetite. The sooner you seek treatment, the better. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. I like the adhesion grenade, uh, specifically against um, against melee units. Not sure if I want to trade it for the plasma grenade, though. I mean, the plasma grenade is also pretty damn good together with um, with our shrapnel bomb. The shock grenade is good against the type of enemies that we're currently fighting. Plus just denying enemy actions in general is good, so I would probably rate that even a bit higher than the stuck uh, grenade. By the way, for those of you who haven't seen Adrenal uh, Weave, is uh, allowing you to bypass the first um, uh, shot, reaction fire shot that's taken against the enemy, uh, against the agent. So that's what something for breaching. It's okay, but situational. 
that's I guess the problem that I'm having with it. So yeah, many good items, yet not enough room for them. Yeah, okay. By the way, we've never outfitted the android. You might want to take the stuff that no one else wants to take. I'm not sure why I have 29 nanomid kits, but I've seen that, mis uh, that error coming up often online as well. Let's give him the frag grenade. Okay, and it seems that our next mission is the stop, uh, stopping the android raid, but we're going to do that in the next episode. We're already half an hour in, uh, which is kind of the more or less golden time for um, for our um, episodes. It's going to be a two time uh, two stage encounter and we'll progress the storyline. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate your support. Uh, if you like the content, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. See you in the next run. Bye-bye.